the resistance if you observe foot slap or if there is no knee flexion observed during the loading of the limb. Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for sharing it with your colleagues and the patient with whomever you think that they can also use it. Welcome back to Best Care Forum. The resistance setting of the Empower as well as settings for the power push-off can be divided into three steps. The first step is the adjustment of the resistance at heel strike, hence the plantar flexion resistance. The adjustment of this setting affects how fast the foot is plantar flexed during the loading of the limb. Increase the resistance if you observe foot slap or if there is no knee flexion observed during the loading of the limb. Decrease the resistance if the knee is forced forward abruptly during loading of the limb or if no visible plantar flexion motion is observed. The second step is the adjustment of the powered push-off. This setting adjusts the amount of power that is output by Empower during tow-off. The dots in the graphic show the steps taken by the user at various estimated walking speeds. The graphic is designed like a speedometer. Moving from the left to the right in the graphic, the walking speed increases. If you want to adjust the plotted steps in the left area of the graphic, use the slider for slow walking. If you want to adjust the plotted steps in the right area of the graphic, use the slider for fast walking. The optimal range is shown in white. In this area, the dots will appear green. Yellow dots are steps that are slightly outside of the optimal range. Red dots are far outside of the optimal range for the power output. If you click the reset button above the graphic, all dots will be deleted. This may be helpful after making programming changes. When the dots are falling above the white optimal range, the power output is too high. When dots are falling below the white optimal range, the steps do not have enough power output from the foot. If steps are falling into the dark gray hatched area, the user is walking too slow. In this example, the user walks too slow to generate a sufficient powered push-off. The steps plot in the dark, gray hatched area. Encourage the user to walk slightly faster so that you can properly assess the current power settings. In this example, the settings for the powered push-off at slow speed are too high. The steps plot above the white optimal range. Decrease the setting for slow walking power until the dots appear green within the optimal range. In this setting, the settings for the powered push-off at fast speed are too low. The steps plot below the white optimal range. Increase the setting for fast walking power until the dots appear green in the optimal range. The settings are optimal. You can create a tuning record by clicking the finish button followed by the Start Recording button. In order to create a proper tuning record, have the user walk at a slow, medium, and fast walking speed. When complete, the patient data and settings can be saved. In the next tab, all stored records for this foot, as well as a preview of the most recent record, are displayed. They can be exported as a PDF file for documentation purposes. By clicking in the menu in the footer, you will find various information about the currently connected in power. In the upper left-hand corner, the temperature indicator is displayed. Please monitor the temperature regularly while adjusting the Empower, especially while walking on stairs and ramps. Adjust the power settings in case the motor starts to overheat. In the upper right-hand corner, the step count is displayed. 
The total step count shows all steps ever taken with the Empower. The up-to-date step count shows the steps in a specific period of time. This can be reset via the reset symbol. In the middle, you can reset Empower to the default settings. Below, you can adjust the acoustic signal for the battery charging status. Problems occur during adjusting Empower. Please view video 4. It shows you how you can optimize settings. Du kannst einfach glücklich sein, denn glücklich sein ist eine Entscheidung. I hope you like the educational videos from Best Care Forum. Please, if you have any suggestion, if you have any question, write your comment under the same video or contact us with 00971-5091-0216. My name is Esmail Nuri. I will answer you 24 hours, seven days a week. All right and email to us with the same email you can see on the display right now. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for using these educational videos to be able to provide better services to your community and to your patients. God bless you all, stay healthy and see you soon. Thank you.